while the second season of Luke Cage, played by Mike Coulter, brought in a brand new villain in the form of Bushmaster, Mustafa Shakir. This year, the corporate Goliath's antagonists have long been criticized for being simple villains who have not maintained interesting backstories. He is the next in a long line of Marvel villains. Although Marvel's Netflix shows Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage have strived to bring newly crafted characters to the universe, not a lot has changed. However Bushmaster's portrayal has been praised so far as the show spent a lot of time building up his backstory. It also explored the reasons Bushmaster was looking for vengeance against Mariah Stokes, Alpha Woodard, following her family's murder of his parents. The first season of Luke Cage saw the psychotic Cottonmouth, played by Oscar winner Mahershala Ali, take on Luke and Mariah, causing them endless problems. Meanwhile in Daredevil Vincent D'Onofrio appeared as Wilson Fisk and consistently showed off his physical and mental prowess against both the Defenders and the Crimson Crusader. Uck, Mustafa spoke about the villain that preceded him in Marvel's Ventures co-speaking exclusively to express. Although Marvel has been on a good streak with its Netflix villains, Mustafa explained he hasn't enjoyed the movie villains so far. He explained, a lot of other villains I see are one-dimensional. Their fight seems a little irrational. They're sort of like Mariah to me in between worlds. I don't know despite this, Mustafa revealed he would like to team up with some other villains in the future of the franchise. But one setting stands out to him, and he admitted he would love to take a vacation in Wakanda. Providing neither of them are dead. Could Bushmaster find himself teamed up with Black Panther's killmonger Michael B. Jordan? Mustafa also spoke about his hopes for his character's return to the show next season. He explained that, if Bushmaster were to return, I think we should find him in Jamaica. We should explore where he comes from. And we should see something change in him because of what he has experienced. But I think he should grow up, not that he should be less focused on redemption and revolution. I think that he should change how he goes about it. Luke Cage Season 2 is available on Netflix now.